What up, Greater Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for local sports. It's Tyler and Chris, and this basketball video is brought to you by Naval Strip Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. In La Mirada, where they're looking to put four more numbers up on that banner, Senior Night, a huge showdown for the Matadors hosting Mayfair on Senior Night, getting a chance to honor, to honor Kendall Lauderdale and the rest of those seniors. See the seniors bunched up there and a great crowd on hand, not just for these seniors, but they know how big this game is. Huge league title implications on the line. Mayfair Monsoons coming in holding their hopes as well as the hopes of the Cerritos Dons trying to force a three-way tie atop the Suburban League. But the Matadors came out on fire, taking it inside, running at every opportunity that they had. They were winning 50-50 balls. They just looked hungrier as Lauderdale getting easy money in the paint once again. Going to throw this one down, dominating the start. 15-2 was the lead. Uh, a little over five minutes in. Yeah, you can see they were very hungry, taking the energy of that crowd. But this Kendall small three is gonna stop the bleeding for them, and that's gonna spark a run here for the Monsoons. Then, other end, Dominique Moses gonna clean up some trash, and then we get a big play here. Well, the clock's winding down. Small gonna slide back for this three against the buzzer. That's huge, as the Soons now close the first on a 10-0 run, just a three-point game going into the second quarter, which was a little bit sloppy. Very sloppy, but La Mirada had the advantage of taking the ball inside and then getting to the free throw line. I mean, just everything fouls, 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 but they were the one capitalizing. It took almost six minutes for the teams to make their second field goal in this quarter. Nearly half the team's second quarter points came at the charity stripe. Yeah, so it wasn't a real highlight heavy quarter, but Desmond Murphy able to break the seal here. Then a three ball from Lauderdale, making sure the Whites were the ones coming out with the better end of this, and then the outlet to Dylan Banks coming straight out of Southside to give La Mirada a 10 point halftime advantage. So they got the home crowd, they got the double digit lead, but they don't have Kendall Small. The lead would grow to 16, but then it's time for Chris Griffin's favorite show, Kendall to Kendall, as they go right at each other once again. Lauderdale Small trading punches once again. Lauderdale going Hulk smash on the block. And they had no answer for him. 25 points, 10 rebounds, and what Coach Bryce Jones called his most complete game as a Matador. And that's saying something. He's had a lot of good games. I mean, the shimmy shake, the left, not mm. even thinking about the rim. Dap everybody up on the way back. But small, it didn't matter how many guys got in his way. I mean, even if the La Mirada coaching staff tried to box him in, he went right around and got his buckets. 18 points in the third quarter alone. Step back, wet in your eye. 25 is a problem. The difference for La Mirada was the supporting cast was there to help their Kendall. Vito with the tip in. Small gets the theft, takes it the other way. This is going to make it a single digit lead, but hello, Newman. Anthony Newman with the and one. 10 point lead again for La Mirada. Mayfair gets a Herculean performance from Small. Doesn't make up any ground. Small doing it all. Look, he's going on the block. Then he's going to drop this deep three from the top. He scored 26 of his team's 32 points after halftime. I mean, that's nuts to go on that kind of individual scoring run. It's a five-point game. After this miss, Moses goes coast to coast. Wants to be back in February's top 10. Uh. Misses that dunk, though. Wouldn't you know it? Back the other way. Banks, the hunger for more and one. That is a huge momentum swing. So instead of it being a three-point, one-possession game, it's an eight-point lead with 6.45 to go. And Mayfair never got within single digits again. The Matador is running with it. Banks gets the layup. Then Murphy, the friendly roll on his home rim. And it was just the Matador's night. And as soon as they tried to claw back, but there's Newman. Newman! For the easy deuce. And then, well, Lauderdale's going to put the cherry on top with that slam. And... Big crowd, a lot of, lots to celebrate tonight. It's going to be another big step to their first Suburban League title in five years. And come on, both this man, Mr. Matador. I mean, you got to give it to him, right? He made a strong case in this one. Matadors win it by 13. I mean, a great performance once again from Kendall Small. 37 points, but just not enough. And they've all but clinched. The Suburban League title just got to do a little bit more business the rest of the way before those playoffs. We want to thank our sponsors, Naples Rib Company and Papalucci's. They put the eat in Second Street and help us bring you these great videos. It's been a lot of fun in the Burbs. La Mirada looks like they're going to close off being the top dog, but a lot of great teams moving towards playoff action. You want all that coverage. Keep it locked right here at the Press-Telegram.